In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I built my multifunctional table under £50. I started by cutting all the pieces for the workbench with my track saw. Then I used my track saw and my jigsaw to cut it out. I then used my router to chamfer the edges. I screwed the frame using glue and making sure to pre-drill the hole so that the MDF didn't split. I attached the bottom only using shoes just in case I ever needed to replace it. I used my guide rail to mark where the holes needed to be drilled. I spaced them out evenly every 100 millimeters. I made a small, quick and easy jig to drill the 77 holes. I started by drilling a perfectly straight hole onto a piece of wood. I then cut two other pieces of wood and screwed them on the ends. I then placed my 20mm forcing bit through the hole and that kept it straight. I then sanded the top using 240 grit paper. I then used my router again to round over all the edges. For the top, I used also no glue just in case I ever needed to change it. I then did some more sanding and that was basically done, although I just took it one step further. I started by sanding two flat edges on a bolt on my belt sander so that they would fit the guide rail. I then drilled two holes onto a piece of MDF so it could be bolted onto the rail. I routed a spot on both pieces of wood to fit the hinge. I then screwed on the hinge onto the piece of wood. I then cut a piece of wood to a certain length to make sure that the guide rail was parallel to the worktop. I then screwed on the hinge end to the workbench. I cut a piece of plywood with a little lip on the end so it would sit in the groove of the guide rail. I ended up changing the design on both ends as the MDF wasn't strong enough and I needed it to be adjustable. I made an elongated slot so that the height would be adjustable. I placed my dust collector under the workbench and ran a 4 meter hose up to the ceiling, tied on a screw and onto my track saw. This can be detached and used on my sander, router, etc. As you can see the rail easily slides down and the saw slides across very nicely. I never got quite round on making a fence but I would like to make a fence around this area. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.